Hi all, how are we doing? This is something a bit different. Well, it's still GeoGuessr, so it's not that different. Uh, but it looks like a pretty interesting map. And I know that because I saw a dude called GeoKyle. Do check out his channel. Uh, he was playing this. Um, and I thought, wow, I've got to have me some of that. And you'll see why. It's bird's eye view. So drone imagery. Imagery from drones. So we can see far and wide. Um, and we can see what's down below us. And hopefully that will be enough for me to maybe figure out where I am. I'm hoping that I'll be all right at this because uh, I've spent many an hour, many a day, not a whole day, that would be sad, but accumulatively I've spent lots of time on Google Earth and maps, Google Maps, Google Earth, searching places because I find it fascinating. So let's see what happens. There's over a thousand locations, 1560 to be precise. Well done Daniel for making this, or maybe not well done, maybe it's awful. I'm sure it's great though. Let's see what it's all about. You guys can play along, by the way, before you start. Do check the instructions in the description to see how to do that if you've never done it before. Oh, no, not 10 seconds per round. No, sir. Uh, and we'll click moving around. Although I think it'll be just, you won't be able to move. Let's find out. Here we go. First one. Oh, yes, this looks like it might be gettable. I was expecting to be in the middle of nowhere, some rural area in Brazil or something, but this is, if I don't get this, I'm shit, basically. I mean, that's what we can take from this. Uh, this is obviously a Scandinavian city for me. I'm going to say Stockholm, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's Copenhagen. Big building over there. Don't recognise it, probably should know that because I claim to be a fan of skyscrapers and whatnot. But distinctively Scandinavian uh, buildings going on here. Yeah, I should know by the width of this inlet what city this is, but I don't. Let's see if we can find a flag down here. There's that. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's nice. Star there. Um, got a tour bus down there. There's a couple, but... Oh, no, there's just one. Uh, but that's not giving anything away. I mean, yeah, I can just go on the map, can't I? I mean, what am I waiting for? I'll go on the map. That's the direction of it. So if it's Stockholm, that would be the direction of the sea. Unless the um, compass is wrong, which it may well be. So here's Stockholm. Let's try and figure out whether this is feasible. So you've got that bit there, that island there. And you've got a road that runs right through it. And I think that that's it. And then there should be... Yeah. There should be a railway track. Yeah, there's the railway. Uh, and the road bends round. There's a bit of an S which is there. So yeah, we're in Stockholm and the compass is wrong. So that's that's where the confusion was. So yeah, hopefully I can get a perfect score here. I don't know how strict the parameters are, but I presume that we are there. I mean, how close to this thing are we? It's very hard to say, isn't it? It's hard to say because it's all jumbled up. But I am going to go there. That's not a, oh, damn, I was wrong, disappointment. That is, oh, for fuck's sake, who has made this map? Or who has, who has decided where that was? Because that is not right. That is not right. We weren't in a petrol station. We were most definitely on that exact tower. So no perfect score for me today. Um, I don't see how any of you would have got a perfect score there unless you accidentally clicked over there um, or if you've cheated which many of you do post video naughty let's move on we've got a perfect score in the mind thought that was going to be a black screen there now this is going to be harder or is it drive mcdonald's what does this look like looks like russia 
Yeah, that's Cyrillic writing. That's, it looks like it says Ghana. Uh, that's probably not the city. Let's keep looking. Got a lovely church over there, which looks very Russian. Um, yeah, we, we're not going to be able to understand anything, are we? So it's not going to be easy. Looks like a pretty damn big city, though. Can't see any huge skyscrapers to indicate that it's Moscow. But it does look big and wealthy, you know. Looks pretty grand. What does that say? Green. Are we filming? You bet we are. So, yeah. It looks pretty northern. This could be St. Petersburg. Really not sure, though. Is that a river over there? Again, not sure. And it's going to be tough because we don't know the direction of the compass, whether it's right or wrong. We don't even know if it's the location's right, judging by that last one. But um, let's presume that it's right. And I'm going to go into St. Petersburg. Um, if it's right, then the center... Well, it's impossible to tell where the center is, quite frankly. We've got tall buildings in every direction. Big park there. Well, it's not really a park. It's just just a big bit of land. Hmm. I think St. Petersburg is a bit of a long shot either way. I could search for this, but... God knows it would take ages. It would take ages. Right, what direction is that? That's pretty... It's pretty just north, isn't it? McDonald's, anyone? There's a Burger King. Screw it, I'll go here. I'll go there. Oh, Minsk. Oh my God, it's Minsk. Wow. Wow. And the compass was wrong. But Minsk, cool. That looked big. And the centre was to the... What looked to be the south. So, uh, but well done anyone who got that. 3230, that was... Well, I don't know how you would have got that unless you were from Minsk or just incredibly good. Or searched for days. Let's move on. I doubt you would have searched for days if you were doing the play along. Oh, what could this be? Oof. Huh. This is well cool. This is so colourful. That is absolutely jumping out at me. I would have thought this is Norway. Could be Sweden, though. I wonder if there are any flags down here. That we can, that pop out at us, that we can see the colours of. Seminarium. There's got to be a flag somewhere. Just to confirm it. There's a flag. Uh, I'd say that's the Swedish flag. Surely that one there. Can you see the yellow popping out? So... Yeah, which makes sense, because look how flat it is. I mean, yeah. Pretty silly to even consider Norway. So, let's look down there. It's annoying that the compasses aren't right. It really is. Because I could use that. I could find this body of water and that bridge and then the city. But all we've got... Oh, man. I feel like the sea wouldn't be too far away. Okay, I'm going to search for that. Wait a minute, where's the sun? The sun is over there. So that that does correlate with the um with the compass. Let's presume that that's Let's just work with the idea that that's correct. So, we've got two bridges, one there next to the old town, a harbor Another bridge over there. Okay, I think I know where to look. 
I'm thinking of looking over here somewhere, although oh, there's so much going on. There's so much. Okay, over to the east, is there any signs of a city? Not really. Any signs of Stockholm in the distance? No. This is a bit of a long shot, isn't it, I have to say. Okay, give me a minute to search. I'll be with you in a moment. Ah, ah, look at this. Could that be it? Doesn't, it looks too small. It looks too small and don't think we have that railway track. Oh, that's a distinctive feature, that Crescent Island. Duly noted. But I don't think, I don't think we're there. Lots of other things added up, but no, got to keep moving. Ah, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. That'll be it, won't it? There's the little island. There's the bridge in the distance. Yeah, it's definitely it. Uh, the reason it took me a bit longer, it took me about 15 minutes to find that, I'd say. And the reason was, is I think the compass is wrong again. So I'm... I was looking for something that was heading sort of northeast. Look, that arm over there heading northeast. When in actual fact, it's northwest. And I thought that might be the case, so I started expanding my search. Anyway, let's try and find the exact building that we are. This is fun. So we're not actually on a tall building this time. We're kind of level with. We can triangulate here. We're level with. Well. Yeah, in between those three buildings. Yeah, let's look at the road plan. That's more reliable. Um, it's just hard because the, <laughs> the compass is wrong, that's all. There's two roundabouts. Yeah, yeah. Ben's round. So I'd say we're there, basically. On that junction there. Oh, I hope I'm right. 90 yards. Well, apparently we're above that Thomas Badet, aptly named. Um, we weren't. We were above the junction, but hey, we got the points this time. So none of you will have beat me that time. Let's move on to round four. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I just wish the compass was was right. That's the only thing I can say, but there's not, there's not a lot you can do about that if you're making this map. Um, but that, I don't know where to begin with finding this. Colourful buildings there. Interesting farms and agriculture going on. Buildings that could be Spanish, Greek, Portuguese, but I wonder, could this be a Canary Island or something like that? They would make me think no. The sheer variety of colours there, but I don't know, because that might just be a one-off. Looking at the mountains, yeah, big mountains instantly. Could it be Italy? Could it be Italy? Yeah, I would say it could be Italy because I'd say that would be more likely to be in Italy, the colours. But, um, hmm, the cars. Can we see any Fiat Pandas or anything? You can usually see them a mile off, big boxy things. That might be a Fiat Panda there, actually. No, you laugh, but it might be. But that also could be the Trotters trading Reliant Robin. So, yeah, we'll move on. Look at the sea, though. Look at the colours you can see here. 
Okay, so could this feasibly be the med? And could this be like Sicily? I don't know, man. I'm thinking not. But I've got nothing better at the moment. Let's have a little look. So you've got Italy here. Of course, we still don't know which way we're facing, which is rather annoying. I'll work with the idea that it's right again. Which could put us anywhere really around here. Could Palermo be down the coast? Who knows? Um, let's just have another little zoom in. I think I could be drastically wrong here, but never mind. Is there anything that could give it away? A flag, even. I think we're just a bit too high up, aren't we, to see anything like that. Wait, what's the name? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's ruined it. Views Tenerife. It was Tenerife. Ah, uh, well, do you know what? That can't be helped because all of you lot will be will be looking at it. So, screw you. I'm looking at it too. Maybe some of you didn't see it. <laughs> um, anyway, trying to find this place. Then there's still there's still work to be done. Yeah, Tenerife, of course. Yeah. So clearly, the Canary Islands can be more colourful. Duly noted. So, I'm studying the coastline. I'm probably making you dizzy. I apologise. That's distinctive. Big triangular thing there. We have no idea which way we're facing. But a triangular little town. Like that. Yeah, and then does it come in? Yes. And then... We would be, uh, no, that doesn't correlate, keep moving. say that that might be the best I've got might be the best I've got ah frustrating yeah I'm I'm gonna go for that I'm gonna go for that I can't wait any longer yes wow 28 yards look at that I even sort of <laughs> that's my closest guest yet I think that's quite a surprise yeah it took me a while to find that, I won't lie. And yeah, the compass might have been correct on that time. Just as I'd lost faith. Just as it had cried wolf too many times. But uh, yeah, that's tremendous. Lovely, perfect score. How can we end things? That's Barcelona. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. But that might be the Olympic Park in Barcelona. Let's have a look. Not old enough to remember the... 1992 Olympics, I'm afraid. Let's look around. Am I totally wrong with that? Oh dear, where's the sea? Oh, it might... Is that the Alliance Arena in the distance? Okay, so it might be Munich now. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, it doesn't look very uh, Spanish, does it? On closer inspection. Okay. Oh, we've got the Alps in the distance. In the south as well. Thank you. Right, where's the centre then? Is that... Yeah, that's in the centre, isn't it? The historic centre. So, we are in, presumably, an Olympic park in Munich, which I've never been to. And that will be... Where's it gone? The very far away Alliance Arena. Cool. This is beautiful. Is the river here? The river... Is it the river Lech? Or is it the river Inn? It's not the river Inn. That goes through Innsbruck and Rosenheim, if I remember rightly. So, the river Lech, I want to say. Or does that go through Augsburg? 
Can't remember, but it's bloody cold. Anyway, let's get into the map. And let's find Munich, and I'll be interested to see, to find this elusive park. There's the Englischer Garten, where you can get naked. There's the Alliance Arena, so... If this is correct... Oh, there's the Olympic Park. Yeah, beautiful. And we are... Let's have a look down. Lawrence, Lorenz Rings has taken this. So we're in between these two lakes. Whoa! Sorry. Um, in between the two lakes. There's a little canal, is there? Yes. So we're just about there, I would say but kind of in the middle. So there. Can we beat 28 meters? Oh, I'm a globe trotter. Apparently, you have received a new badge. Continue. Yes, I can beat 28 meters, 16 yards. What a great way to end in the Munich Olympic Park, which despite having been to Munich two or three times, I've never been to. Anyway, view summary. Was that, yeah, three correct rounds, three perfect scores, uh, one correct city in Stockholm, but alas, not a perfect score in that one, uh, and one failed round in Minsk or St. Petersburg, whichever way you look at it. Well done if you got that particular round. Well done if you kept up on all the other ones. That was really fun. I'm definitely going to do this again. Really great to just play GeoGuessr in a, from a different angle, in a completely different way, which that very much was. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Take care.